Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about artificial intelligence for disease diagnosis. Artificial intelligence nowadays is booming like anything because it because of its machine learning, uh, you know, combining with the AI, AI so that it is predicting a lot of steps which even humans cannot predict sometimes. For example, recently I read one of the article which says that the AI AI had detected the possibility of the cancer in a particular in breast cancer in one of the human, uh, one of the women. Okay, four years back only. Understanding. So, and also one more article uh, read there it uh, shows that it explains that this AI artificial inter intelligence technology has uh, you know uh, come up with this particular uh, when you use for uh, eye scanning just by eye scanning it can tell that whether the particular person is going to have any heart related issues diseases in future or not so this is a huge revolution that is going to happen in the field of uh, you know biomedical field especially in diagnosis disease diagnosis that means detecting the diagnosis okay but there are a lot of pros and cons also that we will discuss so artificial intelligence is nothing but it has a wide uh, potential all of you know what is artificial intelligence i don't go with the definition so here it has a potential to revolutionize the field of disease diagnosis by providing healthcare professionals to more accurate and efficient tools for identifying and treating the various conditions. The basic thing is we need to identify, de detect the disease properly, accurately, efficiently, so that we can give treat effectively. So that uh, next it will be helpful for diagnosis, early detection, drug design. We discussed in the previous class. Is the same thing we explained here deep and detailed study so for all these applications AI will be helpful applications image analysis as we just discussed about uh, in previous topic x-ray ct scan mri the same stuff see here now ai algorithm can be analyzed the medical images so in future we don't have to uh, have uh, no need uh, experts like radiological experts because ai will detect get to your image and it will compare with the machine learning data whatever it has got for, from the millions of billions of and images already fed into it because of the machine learning so that that will take it and copy it and then it will compare to your image and that will tell that this person has got this particular disease so that's how it will going to be uh, very helpful okay so that way most of the stuff it will be this uh, type of image analysis is known as a computer aided diagnosis so next data analysis so AI algorithms can analyze a large amount of patients data okay such as electronic health records is there uh, to identify the patterns and also trends that uh, they, they may indicate a disease in the future he may he may he may suffer from the heart attack in the future he may suffer from the you know some brain disease it can predict advance only by how by the use of data okay and that patient record itself will give you that and machine learning yeah, ml is nothing but in machine learning what we are giving all the possibility diseases we are feeding all the images are we are feeding all the data we are feeding with the help of that data only it is giving the answer okay it is predicting next diagnosis diagnosis we discussed enough to ai yeah, will help to identify uh, the disease and by with the help of any symptoms or test results uh, or any with the help of you know patient information ai yeah, algorithms can help to uh, help the healthcare professionals or doctors to make faster and more accurate di diagnose uh, diagnosis reducing the risk of misdiagnosis here humans can make error but if you fed the proper data to the systems the system will not make an error so that is one of the advantage in diagnosis by AI ML next personalized medicine so algorithms AI algorithm that is artificial intelligence algorithms can be used to create personalized treatment plans personalized medicine in the sense for a particular person, I don't have to go for a doctor for every time, wherever I want to take a medicine. That is called personalized treatment. That plans for patients based on their specific medical histories, lifestyles and other factors. For example, AI algorithms can analyze a patient's medical history, lifestyle habits and genetic information to recommend a best course of treatment for their condition. You don't have to you know, consult many doctors and all. If you give all this uh, data to the AI tool, it will give you the best course of treatment what you can have for a particular condition. That is what is called as personalized medicine. Next, clinical decision support. So, uh, for example, AI algorithm that can be integrated into the electronic health record. That means every hospital will have their uh, patient records where it will be kept obviously electronic health records only so that ai can be integrated with this particular health records which, will, which is having a lot of data then to provide 
the health professionals and uh, real time uh, or a doctors real time decision making support so that they can uh, based on the uh, previous data or aml uh, predictions they can, they can give the real time decision uh, can, they can make a quicker real time de decision in the times in the in the time of uh, trauma or surgery uh, or uh, you know what is it accident cases or emergency cases for example ai algorithms can provide physicians with the information about the best diagnostic test to order and the most effective treatment to consider and best ways to manage the patient care so it will tell the physicians okay so you can refer this particular diagnostic test based on this particular results whatever i have received and then you can also go for this is the particular effective treatment compared to the what you are suggesting or you can suggest this one that ai will only tell to the uh, physicians and then also it will tell you the best ways to manage the patient care how exactly the patient can be managed in this particular disease or situation that also it's going to tell this is going to make a huge revolution in the field of biomedical field that is that is for sure so limitations uh, lack of understanding of underlying algorithms that means there are a lot of algorithms the very complexity is involved very difficult to understand making it you know there is something called neural uh, neuronal uh, network here in the ai but i had i had attended some workshops so or uh, faculty development programs even the uh, pro the, uh, the expert who was explaining was telling that it is difficult for him to understand it so imagine how difficult it will be so making it difficult for healthcare professional to interpret the results so this can lead to the confusion and mistrust of ai to these tools because they not they won't be knowing how to operate it but they will be blaming ai tools so particularly among healthcare professionals who are not familiar with ai technology so that is a lack of understanding of underlying algorithms next bias ai algorithms may be biased sometimes leading to the inaccurate or unfair diagnosis because ai algorithm how it works based on the data what you fed if the data is not proper then it is biased so that will not give you the correct results for example ai algorithm is trained on the data from the predominantly male uh, population so it may not accurately diagnose conditions which are going to affect the women differently so that is biased for a man next are regulations the use of ai in healthcare is heavily regulated definitely heavily regulated and it can be challenges to be to get approval for the uh, new ai technology we can we can't just develop new technology and can use in, in hospitals it has to go through a series of you know regulations i have discussed if you remember in the previous module when we were discussing about if we are having the fda in the uh, uh, us and european union and japan ka okay we will be having these different uh, evaluations i mean regulatory bodies we need to apply there take grant take a permission from them then make sure that this particular grant is now not going to affect the humans that this stuff and all will be there it takes a lot of evaluation processes uh, you know it takes uh, a very difficult uh, they will go under very rigorous evaluation processes before they can be used in healthcare next last the cost so now development and implementation ai algorithms can be very expensive so which may limit because it requires lot of data that collection of data itself is lot of time and then the building the softwares and getting the you know the computer systems and all it will be very tedious job now which may limit the access to the most of the technologies for some patients and healthcare facilities only rich can have this have this uh, facility available so this is particularly true in low and middle income countries where access to health is already limited so it is very going which is going to affect in the countries like like uh, south african countries like uganda you know and even the uh, middle uh, kind of countries even india also comes in most major part of the india so we are not access to the even the oxygen cylinder people are dying people have died we have seen the people dying all without oxygen cylinder uh, during the time of corona and uh, even the bangladesh kind of uh, uh, what is it bangladesh sri lanka pakistan afghanistan these kind of you know countries which are still very underdeveloped in there it is going to be very difficult and it is going to be affect uh, very costly so despite these limitations ia has the potential to revolutionize the field of disease diagnosis it will give the healthcare professionals with a new and more accurate tools of identifying and treating the wide range of the uh, you know conditions so that it will give you you know how would you say the accurate and uh, you know data so that based on the data accuracy you, know, you can it will give you this can this is the disease which is having or this might be the disease he might uh, expose he might be exposed in in coming years 
that kind of things and uh, knowledge will give that is very uh, revolutionizing in the field of uh, uh, how do you say medical uh, history but what happens here the only major thing is that every doctor every healthcare professional has to go to under and uh, you know has to understand the ai tools or else it is going to be very difficult for the implementations especially countries like india okay and uh, it may be in even uh, the developed countries also it will be well going to be helpful in including australia new zealand japan and even china okay all it will be very uh, you know it's going to be very tough for uh, health professionals but it is going to make its way because we know that our humans there are a lot of technologies uh, has come and we say that uh, this technology has come it will take job away yet they have taken job away but suddenly there will be pra- paradigm shift the human brain is so powerful that it will learn something new and it will adapt to its particular uh, new evolution and that's what we have been doing since billions of years and uh, trust me yeah in my eh, not only eh, there can there will be hundreds of technologies going to come but no technology can replace human as of now whatever the science is involved but no technology can replace our brain or heart or anything else okay that's it for today